Well, hello, this is a surprise, isn't it? A Saturday afternoon live stream. I don't think I've done one yet, um, but I said yesterday, last night in fact, that I really enjoyed streaming and I've got quite a lot done on the stream. So I thought, why not carry on the fun, carry on the mischief, make the most of my new purchase, that being my new webcam, and stream again. So I'm just gonna make sure everyone is aware that I'm on, so I'm gonna copy and paste and ping the entirety of the discord but yeah who's there who's out in the chat how are we doing guys um so uh, yeah starting now and going on till not late but i'm gonna put whenever because i'm that cool but yeah did any of you guys catch the stream last night how did you find the new format with the webcam i really enjoyed it like really enjoyed it so we'll see how this all carries on but yeah, today what I'm going to be doing is, um, well, let me show you what I'm going to be doing. So if I press two, oh, there I am. Hello. Welcome back to the stream. Let me know if the lighting's all good. I think it should be. I think we're a-okay -okay on that front. So what I'm going to do is, well, I've already started. I'm removing this road layout here because I'm not entirely happy with how it looks. Um, what I'm going to do now is this road's going to carry on this isn't going to be here it's going to sort of bend off that way instead and join up to the bridge just before the um the, the stream so this plot becomes a bit wider and then we're going to put the workhouse in here at the end of this road so that road will then branch off go down slightly and come around the back of this hill there'll also be a little lane that goes up that way i don't know it's just a little bit more of a interesting layout than what i had i don't really like what i have at the second because we've already got these two main roads that go in and out this is more of just a in-between road between the two main roads. Uh, and I'm still not entirely sure what we're doing with this area. I do know for a fact now this area is going to become farmland for myself. Um, and also probably this bit here, but there's going to be a big house in there. Uh, above these houses, which will be plots there, there and there, there'll be some more farmlands. Maybe even farmland between these two, the canal and the river. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yes, yeah, so ultimately this road layout isn't going to work. I do want to keep this hill here. Um, we've got a bit of a hill. Let me just try and show it on screen. A bit of a hill. Gives a bit of character to the area. I wanted to pepper it with some trees. We'll see how that goes. We have got quite a steep riverbank. So I don't know how we're going to... We're going to have to break this area down. Um, I don't know if we do that today. I don't know what we're going to do with that. All I do know is the church and that got going yesterday quite nicely. So let's head on back on over to here. Uh, where are we? So the church is over here and we got a good good stuff going with that. So it's not your conventional church. Well, it is if you're English and live in a place where they've got neoclassical churches. But I really like how it turned out. Um, I was flagging at this point as well. So I was I was already under the um, uh, under the sort of strain of mental anguish. But honestly, I, I think it's got that proper neoclassical style to it and it's really come to life. So the plan here is to build a graveyard around it uh, that will extend probably back onto the new road um, and now we're going to extend this road further out this way we can probably put a couple of houses in here maybe even like a vicarage or something um, now this graveyard is going to take a lot of the dead bodies um, a lot of the people the, the unfortunate poor who die in the workhouse so that's that's the sort of macabre look to it i know victorian era is quite macabre so we're going to end up with that sort of stuff going on anyway but yeah, so this is probably going to be on for a couple of hours. See how long we've got. Uh, what is it now? Half past two. Okay, yeah, probably get a couple of hours in. Um, but first of all, let's get this going. But yeah, hello everyone in the chat. I can't expect we're going to have too many people here. Um, I know in the Americas where most of my Discord family live, should we call it that? They all seem to reside in, in the East or even maybe the West. Don't know. But anyway, they're probably not going to be on for another couple of hours. So we'll be left with whoever's sitting around in the UK at this point, which seems to be a couple of you. So that's quite nice. Um, do I terraform? No, let's get this church finished. Once the church is in, then, then we can terraform and sort out the rest of the landscape. But yep, yeah, so if you don't remember from last night, if you weren't here or if you are new to this all, hello. Um, we are currently building what is called and known. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, as Limington Baptist Church. It is a building that was built in the 1820s. Sits opposite what was the old school, which again is what we're going to be building, the St. Barb's Museum. 
Why don't we call it the St. Barb? St. Barb's Church. What is it actually called? So the Limington Baptist Church has been serving the community since 1688. Yeah, but that's not when this building was built. I don't think. Um, we could call it St. Barb's Church. Yeah, let's do that. It's a little vent up there. But yeah, so what are you guys up to today? How's everyone's Saturday been so far? Mine's been quite nice. I've been out for a walk, uh, about six miles or so. And that's done me in for the day. And I should be good to chill out. Um, so that's quite nice. Ooh, okay. That's an interesting side. I like that. So now we know that that's actually a false facade up there, which is tends to what you do with your power pit, parapets anyway. So that means the roof line probably starts at the top of the capital of that column, if I look correctly. So we'll see how that goes. But there we go, back to the game. But yeah, we had a really, really successful stream last night, guys. I think overall, we had a grand total of 73 people pop in at once after we got raided. So that's beautiful. Um, never before have I ever expected to have so many people come and watch me for a bit. Um, but I think the, the ultimate um, numbers eventually turned down to about 40. We, we ended up with 40 for most of the stream. Which again is just absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much. It really, really made my day. Uh, I was so like worried about getting my face on cam going, if I, if I do this and it doesn't work, it's going to really put me in a bad, bad place. Um, ah, hello. How's how's it going? Uh, and I kind of went, mm, so hopefully it worked. But by the looks of it, you guys loved it, or at least enjoyed it. And we've got another one back today. So let's see how this goes. So I'm not even counting this out yet. Just kind of feeling the mood for this building. Um, if I look back at the actual image, how far back does that go? So it doesn't. It probably stops off about two blocks back yeah something like that and then we end up with um, what looks like a sort of drain pipe type business um, so we'll see what that looks like like that and then above that we'll end up with now I'm probably gonna go for full stairs for this well those slabs may work better we'll, we'll investigate um, but for now we're going to stick that on there. And we're going to stick that across the back. Like so. I think stairs may be the option. Because it does obviously come to a peak. It is going to be quite a large roof. Or not. No, okay. It comes to the peak at the top of the pediment. Okay, right. That answers my question. But yeah, so I've put out my third part of my tutorial on the large Victorian house today. I've got to cover the, my face. Um, and the idea is that's all done now. So I really enjoyed doing that. And with that, I ended up giving you guys a bit more of an insight into how I do interiors. Now, my next, I think, sort of tutorial is going to be uh, an interior for my second empire house because that's been requested like every day since I posted that video. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it last night, but I said to them, or at least said in, in the video, um, in, the, in the comments below, that if that video gets 20,000 views, um, I will then stick out a tutorial on how to build the interior. And I believe it is about 400 views away now from being at 20,000. So everyone's going to get their wishes soon. And I'm going to have to try and make myself a... A tutorial on how to build that okay so that's probably where we want the roof to be so that is dreadfully dreadfully annoying huh. how are we gonna how are we gonna fix that ah how's it going oh ah, lovely stuff how are you guys doing sorry I'm just trying to deeply think about building today um yeah I'm all good just having a little bit of a Saturday afternoon stream because I'm actually loving this so much at the moment. I thought I'd give something back to you guys a bit more. Get some more content going. And obviously keep building Wolhampton because this project needs to come to an end before I can start anything else. And it's it's really starting to uh, to grind me the gears. No, it's not. It's great fun. It's just um, there's so much here because I keep neglecting it. So we've got to try and build as much as we can. And I thought giving myself a full-on challenge of building this one whole area in one go would be enough to drive me and it has it has so far um 
Start power for the roof. Uh, yes. Start power. Uh, I guess lower is what you meant to say. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Is that going to... See if I start lower or we can... Yeah, I need to... So these need to be at the same height. So we're going to have to go down a bit more. I think that's going to affect everything. Uh, we're going to move to Dune. That's too low. So I think it might just be one down. Hey, presto. Yeah, that's going to... So we're going to have a little bit of a... A strange bit of this roof here but that's that's fine because I can just I can do the old switcheroo with that I think I think that's on yeah so we can we can we can cover it up slightly so at a distance you can't see it I think that looks okay what are you building so I'm currently building a, a neoclassical styled church in my town of Wolhampton um, it's based upon this building here which is the Baptist Church in Limington and I'm just carrying on from something I was doing last night so here it is let's have a look so that's the building there in question it's quite a basic local box but I think it looks quite nice it's gonna look quite nice in our world we've already got the front in and that's looking perfectly good so yes uh yeah I'm, I'm actually really happy with how that turned out in the end i was worried that the columns were too close to the windows but yeah ah hot nacho welcome to the stream how's it going and thank you that's nice it's good to hear that um you guys are watching those because the viewership hasn't been incredible on them but it's not been bad like i think if i look at it now it's probably had nearing 100 views so we'll see um when it loads in 88 so it's not not done terribly not done amazingly uh, apparently someone's just commented watching this with the pink panther theme in the background makes it so so much better but that's what <laughs> that's a comment on episode two of my starting the wheat farm my survival series wow that's a strange comment but yeah so this is this this is that I think we've, we've done a good job here um, with this roof now. So let me just bring this all across. Um, I'm going to work out how long the building needs to be in a second. But that looks good. And that, that does actually... Do you know what? Do you, do you know what? It lines up. Uh, early stream, I see. 7.30 in the morning here. Yeah, so I, I'm currently sitting here at half past two in the afternoon here going, I want to stream because I don't want to keep you guys in the dark too much. Uh, and now I've got all the equipment set up properly. Yeah, you guys can can come along for the ride more and more. It doesn't it doesn't take anything away from my building. Um, I will be building this slowly in <laughs> without the stream, without the cameras on as well. So it's just going to have to do. I, I I've become really motivated to get this done now. So when I was out on my walk this morning, I gave myself a little pep talk like, "You've got to do this. If you don't do this now, it's never going to get finished. Spend as much time as you need to on it. Don't sleep. Don't eat." just build and now we're just building so hey that's that's gonna look good mm. okay so let's get the walls in uh, the side walls we're gonna carry on that rustication round I think uh, the back wall itself I'm gonna make out of brick because that's how I tend to do my builds but we'll end up having um, probably a different maybe a couple of little extra bits at the back here because um, this this plots gonna be quite large because like I said it's gonna sit in a graveyard so the graveyard comes down from that wall there kicks out into this it's going to have all of this land um, and it's going to probably extend off to about there as well and come down through there and it'll be at a diagonal like that so it'll have quite a big chunk of that there'll be trees lying in the back some bushes and that so it'll look fancy but what I'm going to do oh lord MS Builds has been busy uh, is carry this road up it's going to go curve round and go up this way onto that different platform there and carry off that way and give us more space in here so we'll see how that goes but yeah but I'm not gonna lie having having this new setup has brought me so much more joy at streaming um, I feel more professional now 
Probably not. I'm probably all over the place still, but you guys have got something else to look at. So that's always good. I like it. Once you start getting the corners on the side of the building, it always, always helps. Um, so it's three windows on the side, if I remember correctly. And I think what those windows are, are just replications of that middle window there. Yeah, they are. They're about the same width, I think. So we'll do that. Um, and then I've... Yeah, I think they're at the same height as the edge windows. So and there's probably do, 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 five blocks in. Five blocks in, I reckon. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah. Maybe even six blocks. That might even look better. We'll see. Um, I mean, what I would like to do ultimately is do the interior for this building. Because I've never built the inside. Well, I have built the insides of one church. You can... No, you can't see it. It's beyond yonder that way. Uh, that was... <laughs> I built that interior five years ago. When uh, I was using a texture pack. And also when I thought red... Uh, sandstone was cool because it's just been introduced into the game that's that's um that's kind of the madness of that and I thought oh we can make the inside of this church look really exotic and interesting like it's been someone who's designed it's gone to Italy and come back with new ideas and I built it and I, I regret it but I think in in the end it looks okay I never finished the interior annoyingly but that is what it is yeah that looks good what are you building? So today I'm just building a church at the second based upon this building here in Lymington. This is the Baptist Church and it's just a nice little neoclassical building. Um, we're going to try and get as much of it done today as I can. I should be able to finish it. Definitely should be able to finish it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm tempted to put, I don't know, something along the edge here. But I'm not entirely sure what because I mean, it looks a bit weird. I want to make... No. Do I put an overhang? Because then I can't put anything underneath it. Because it just needs like a drain pipe along the edge. Why don't we have anything that can be put up that way? Apart from chains, but I don't... Yeah, I'm not on 1.16.2 yet. Ooh, I love that sound. So that's, um, that's a little bit frustrating. But what I will do... I'll tell you that for free is put this down the edge and now I'm going to use my powers invested in me by the game of Java and also the fact that I'm a server operator and do this give WBC builds a debug stick it's strange as well I'm the only person on the server doesn't ever go like this hey hey new to the stream uh, figured I'd come visit ah hello there uh, in the UK, yes, that's limited in the UK. Can you show us the other church? I can show you the other church, yes. Uh, this is a lovely building. Well done, sir. Thank you. Um, so nice. We've got some people here. So this is your first time. So welcome. Um, I'm currently building a town project called Let's Build Wallhampton. If you guys aren't familiar with that at all. Um, it's my main sort of staple series over on my channel. Uh, is, uh, is this a sub-server or is it an open server? So this server is actually... It's partly open to those who are active in our Discord, um, but ultimately you have to apply to become a builder on it. If you just uh, have a look at this link here, it explains a bit more. Um, and also, if you want to have a quick check as well, my YouTube channel, just to see what else I've been up to, if you are new to this all. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get back into MC Building. Oh, nice one. Uh, also, you are on recommended list, so good job. Oh, really? Wow. Um, that's really nice. Well then, guys, I think I should probably show you around a little bit. So, if you haven't ever come here before, let's have a look at it in shaders because it always looks a little bit fancier. Um, this is a part of town called Bridge Street. Uh, if you look at this, you can see it's on on this side of town over here. Not that you can probably tell what side of town is which. And this is a project called Woolhampton. And it's a town I've been building for about a year now. Um, started off in this little house here. And... <laughs> Wow, we've grown quite a bit. But it's all part of the same world as several other builders. On the server, do builders have the cheap privileges, e.g. world edit? They have world edit, but they don't have the debug stick. Um, we don't actually need it, 
because there's world world of it commands you can do to fix that. But yeah, so we're building a whole country, well, two countries, and this is the whole world as it stands currently. We've got so much going on here, and it's it's great. So let me show you a quick little whiz tour around Wolhampton. Um, so we're going to come down here. This is the new area I've planned out. Got loads to build in here. More houses. Uh, these are the last couple of stream builds. So we've got the Victoria Inn on the corner there. Oh, sorry, the Britannia Inn on the corner there. We've got a couple of little houses here. And then we've got the church down here that I'm working on today. If we carry on back this way, there's a row of diagonal houses I attempted to build and gave up. But not gave up as such, just have left there. Um, and then we've got some more shops and a couple other builds I've done around here. But uh, we actually did stream building this canal as well, which was great fun. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try and put together a video on how to build canals in the sort of rural Victorian style. But if we carry on up Bridge Street, we come to the Market Square of Wolhampton, which is adorned and covered in, don't look to the left, uh, with loads of buildings around it to make it look like it's in the main part of town. Now over here you can see we have the Church of Wolhampton, which is the original one that sits in the centre of town. It's a, a Norman style church with a Georgian copula put on top to make it look interesting. Ultimately enough, it's actually based on another church in the town of Lymington, which is just down over here. Um, again, sits on the high street with a copula on top and I built this about five years ago uh, during what was like a project to recreate this town. I I mean, if you if, if you look at it, it does it does look all right. I mean, I, I could recreate it and do a bit better of a job, I think with the copula, but the rest of it looks all right. It's all proportionally, proportionally correct. Yeah, we'll, we'll say that. I mean, I've tried to keep it in the same sort of location with the bend in front as well. Actually looking at it from this angle and like that, it does look all right. Um, oh, we've got a couple of new followers here. So Adam um, Darius, thank you for following. And also Reza, thank you for following. Um, looks all right. <laughs> well then, um, yeah, it's pretty good. And Mortar, um, thank you for following as well. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so I was just mentioning as well, I've built the interior of this church. So we can go and have a little look inside. Um, McCoral, thank you for following as well. Uh, will you... Um, uh, but yeah, so this is the inside of this one. And you can tell I was quite liberally placing red sandstone around the place. Now this is back when red sandstone had just originally come out in the game. This church is a copy and paste from an old world uh, when I was using a, a Flows HD texture pack. So it did look a little bit different inside originally, but the layout is the same. Um, I do like this. It, it, do you know what? Having a bit of an interior in a building in a town like this, you start to get some epic views when you look out the window. So across the road there is the town hall, um, which I think is pretty good. Oh, sorry, there we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, there we go. Now we can see it. You know I do that quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so this is the red interior of this church. Um, I built this one. It was I was using Flows HD. And do you know what? It doesn't look terrible. Um, I had a go at building an organ as well. I don't know what organ that's meant to look like, but it's a sandy colored one. But still, so I was just saying as well, if you come to the gallery here, you get what is probably one of the best views in town. You've got the town hall over there with the flag of Whiteberg sitting on top, looking lovely. You've got the tram down there, going along tram tracks that really don't exist. And yes, um, sorry, that, so this is, this, is, this is the first church I ever built and never finished. You can see here, the tower just doesn't go anywhere. But yeah, that's all a bit of fun. It's, it's about five years old, this building. Um, but if we come out this way into the churchyard, you can see lots more vistas and views. This churchyard's actually completely packed the rafters. There is not a single space left in here for anyone to get buried in. Uh, so much so they keep jumping out the ground. This one has been undug. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this is sort of the rest of town. And that one, okay. Um, if you walk on down this way, you come to a place known as Password Basin, which is the main canal docks. Well, one of the second main canal docks. Um, and you get a nice view of some villas over there on the hillside and some buildings along here. That is the fish and chip shop of Wolhampton. Um, this has all been built in the uh, early Edwardian period, or 
well, in the early 20th century. So fish and chip shops did exist then. Whether they were the same sort of idea, I don't know. But yeah, oh, I do love that building still. Um, and then we got all sorts of other places to look at. We've got the train station up here, uh, which sits over the other canal docks on the other side of town, which I completely forgot about and haven't come back and fixed or, or actually finished building yet. But we'll get around to that one day, maybe. But this is Wolhampton Central Station. Um, ah, TW Troy, welcome to the stream. I recognize that name from Discord, I think. And um, again, never finished around it, but the station itself is all but done uh, with some diagonal trains provided by a guy who runs a project called Valvi. I don't know if you guys know about that at all. But yeah, that's Wolverhampton Central Station there. And I guess we'll um, we'll pop on down to my favourite street in all of Wolverhampton, uh, and that is Bridge Street. Let me just... Not Bridge Street. You know where this is going, any regular viewers. We're going to Dock Lane. So this is... Uh, Every time I come here, it's just more and more beautiful each time. This is what is um, known as a Regency-styled street. So every house along here has been built in the Regency style, uh, which is the late Georgian, early Victorian style that you probably associate with a lot of the buildings around like the really posh parts of London. And that's what we've got going on here. Let me just change my speed back again. Lots of big villas, lots of big houses. Ah, oh, come on, this is beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. But yes, oh, Doc Lane, we've got some people there. Oh, uh, hello, Random. I didn't see you joined the chat. Nice stuff. Yes, webcam now. I'm, I'm repping that one properly. But yeah, so this is a proper nice little leafy suburb of town uh, with this huge Georgian house here with this beautiful grey motif to it. i got to say, I'm really, really enjoying building in this style. It's coming across quite nicely. Do you do all this alone? Yes, this, is, this, this world here, every building here pretty much has been built by myself. Um, I do, have I had any help with Wolhampton? I need to do a bit of detailing and gardens and that um, and a bit of sort of road work and terraforming but the buildings themselves are all mine. There's the there's the town hall which I think it just it just hangs there, it holds such a nice position with that with that copula sitting on the back there and you've got the skyline that sort of blends in it is, it's great, yeah I built two gardens, you did build two gardens um, for you, yes, exactly stuff. And then there's the uh, WBC Builds HQ. That's my office building. I don't actually have an office in it. My office is over there. You can see the roaring fireplace in the background there. But um, yeah, so let's carry on back down to, to Bridge Street where we were to carry on extending this town out. Uh, I, I zoom over this stuff here because it's old and this is kind of my testing ground for when I start building this world. The buildings aren't amazing, but they hold some sort of personal value to me as being the first things I've built in this town. But if you come on the back here, you come to a nice little yard, courtyard type area, which is, is the backs of the buildings all looking into. I thought this was quite nice, nice little idea. But anyway, so let's go on back over here and see what's what. But yeah, welcome anyone who's just joined. We've got quite a few people watching for a Saturday afternoon. I didn't really expect that. Ooh, that's, this, this street view is starting to look good. I know it's all on the north side, so you don't get the sun on it at all. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this one. This is again one of my favourite houses in town. This is Livington House, uh, named after the town I keep uh, using as inspiration. And I've done the interior inside this. This is technically the house I live in whenever I do anything in this town. Um, it's just got lovely views back down Bridge Street over the road to small houses and that. Yeah, it's just, it's just one of those houses I like. But moving on, we're going to carry on building this church over here. I always get so distracted when I start showing people around, which is, I guess, good. Now, the plan for this area, um, let me just turn the shaders off so we can have a, a proper look around, is uh, opposite the church is going to be the school, main big building for the school, uh, infant school down here for the younglings. Uh, then you've got the play park, not play park, but school, school field in there. More houses. Uh, these houses are going to be similar to that house there. Going to have more rows of houses down through here, uh, more terraced houses. And then we're going to have some big houses here, which their gardens will back up onto this lane. Um, and then on the other side, similar affair, more big houses back onto fields and that. Uh, and then over here, where it's all a bit unfinished, is going to be the union workhouse for the poor, who will go in there, work themselves to death, unfortunately, and then get buried in the churchyard we're just building over there. So it's all got some sort of flow to it. It's got some sort of idea to it. 
macabre as it is, it's um it's coming along quite nicely. But yeah, so this is this is where we've got to from last night's stream, um, where I was too excited to build because I got my new webcam, so I was like, oh, but yeah, um, dude, I'm oh, so, what stole your video? Um, oh no. So, uh, how how are people doing this so often to you guys? It's horrible. People just stealing other people's videos on YouTube, just it happens far too much. And I don't know why. I don't know why people feel the need to do it. And it, it's just... It's, it's devastating for the actual content creator who is now left with this... The, the sort of the pain of having to clear up the mess they didn't make. And unfortunately, YouTube just goes, well, we're making money from it still. So do you do you have to be so like controlling over your own videos? Like, come on, guys, please. Like YouTube, no. Anyway, that's my view on it. I don't know if that's how it actually works because that, that doesn't sound very professional at all. Uh, I love you, YouTube. Please don't demonetize me. And... <laughs> And yeah, also oh, lots lots join the game. Lovely stuff. Um, oh, sorry, right. So I don't know what you can do about that in a random. Um, have you have you taken to Twitter to to oust this person because that's usually the best way to deal with this. Tag a few content creators in it. Get them to start a lynching party. That always works actually. Um, that's that's probably the best thing you can do. Get a mob going. Because you yeah, the, the official channels never really work. Is this the right thing to be saying? Should I be soliciting this sort of advice? I don't think so. Um, he, he stole the whole video. Oh, right. Wow. Wow, that's that's even worse. I thought you meant he just stole the, um, stole the build. So he, he stole the video and then just overdubbed it. That's, that's horrible. Right, so I think... Uh, one, two, three... Actually, where does that come in? So that comes in around there. Um, but yeah, so what I'm trying to do is finish up this town before I start on my new town. Uh, I've got a couple of little projects in the works in between. Um, but for now, we've just got to finish up as much as we can with Wolverhampton here. Um, so I've been working on it for over a year. It's, it's not that like I've got bored of it. It's more I've got too many other plans now that I need to come into it come into reality, come into fruition. Otherwise, they're going to fall to the wayside and never get built. And I think episode 10 would be a good way to finish it. Oh, a super small... Oh, right. Well, is I, I guess... Send me, send me a link in, in private. Or I'll, I'll see what I can do with it as well. Yes. Yes, I think that looks good. So... Technically, we're measuring that off with here, which is three, but it's also five. Did that? That's five, okay. So if we measure that... Uh, and the community, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, it, it all gets a bit much. Right, I'm going to quickly look back at... Oh, well, no, we're still over here at the other church. So, I don't I don't always just um, build 100% from real life. A lot of the stuff I do is from my head, using real life um, inspiration and ideas. So, for this one, I'm just trying to figure out the spacing between these windows just to be able to get the whole building in. And it does seem to be... That's probably five blocks, five blocks again, five blocks again, five blocks again. So, it's about... What would that be? Five... And then three, so it's eight, 16, 24, 29 blocks back. Okay, let's have a look what we've got so far. If my maths is correct, that's 25, so we're almost there. So, yeah, so you want to build it there. One, two, three, and then, yeah, one, two, three, and then we want the rest of the building on the end here. So it should just be four more blocks this way perfect stuff um it, it happens way too easily and it, I, I don't know how to stop it 
I'm, I'm, I'm scared that it would happen to myself. Uh, I know that I've ended up with videos on the Chinese version of YouTube that people have just re-uploaded of mine. There's, there's really, really not much you can do about that either. Um, there's too much fighting you've got to do in order to prove it's yours, sort it out, get the correct channels going. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm not making tons of money from it. I don't particularly mind. Um, if it was my sole income, I would fight for it tooth and nail. But unfortunately, I don't have the time nor the um, energy to do that sort of thing at the moment. It's all right. You can't see. I can't see either. Because <laughs> I'm being blinded by the lights again. Um, whoa, dude. Thank you for following. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Um, nice of you to pop by. Is this your first time? Now, that should be correct like that. Um, duh, 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 duh. White concrete. Right, so this should probably measure, if my maths is correct, 29 blocks along. Hey, that looks good, I think. Is that the correct spacings in between each of these windows? Looks like five, five, five. Perfect. Um, I would I would say the best thing to do is to talk in your videos. Um, YouTube also really recommends that you have narration over the video because it, it for one, gives a, a content a bit more of a actual person behind it rather than it just being um, a comp it could just be a computer generated voice which I know people have done in the past so it's kind of like mm, but no you, 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 your best bet is to probably start talking I would say um, I've even taken the next step and got myself on camera Ooh, uh. but yeah how's it going I drain hog welcome to the stream how's it going uh, well, you're the first streamer that is building a town that I've ever seen. Well, thank you. Here's the town. <laughs> this is how far we've got so far. If you want to see me building this town over the last year or so, then um, if you just have a look at my YouTube channel, which is just uh, here, you can probably find out a bit more information if you wish as well. Uh, it will help make your video. Of course it will. Yeah, never, never worry about that. Um, give it a bit of accent. Give it a bit of your personality in it as well. And you'll go far. That's what YouTube's for. Getting a personality across. Well, especially Twitch as well. But, yeah. Make it funny and use captions. Well, you got that as well, yeah. Um, exactly. I don't try to be anything either. I'm literally just sitting here building for you guys and chatting along. Uh, by chatting, we, we mean rambling for, for hours and hours and hours. So... If this is your sort of thing, then you've come to the right place. Well, the music seems to have stopped, but yeah, I'm just going to put this across the top here. I'm going to use this as a ridge stone. Um, let's get the replace tool out and do that a bit faster. Oh, um, I thought I recognised the name Wolhampton. Your accent appeared. Your account. Oh yeah, I, I'm I'm literally all over Instagram every day, posting another render or two that I've done. Um, yeah, so you're you'll probably see me quite a bit on there. But yeah, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Um, oh, well, thanks for the follow as well. Nice one. So I'm just building this up. I think I think we've got a good thing going with that. So there is some windows on the lower level as well. We'll do the same motif with these ones. So come on down. Uh, probably line up at the top there. So that's round underneath the cornice there. Um, but yeah, so my town and this whole world project we've got going on is the world of Whiteburg, the country of Whiteburg, I should say. Uh, and we've got a couple of builders on who are doing the Whiteburg section, uh, which is which is the English style of the town. But then we also have quite a few builders that come on the server who build in a more European style. And they build within the, the country slash continent slash area uh, known as Europa. So that's their own special area. Um, uh, this week I'll be doing a server update tour which i do every month um and you'll be able to see a bit more about the what's been happening across the whole server because obviously i'm i'm mainly for me i focus solely on Wolhampton, which is my town um and you'll see a lot more of what's happening next saturday that video should be out so i do hope you go check that one out once it's out love how i'm advertising something that doesn't exist yet 
that's the best yeah it looks good um but yeah so instagram explore page yeah i i have been honestly so like every day i've been posting two renders that i've been making of building some in and around wolhampton and i think people like them they've, they've seemed to have shown some love towards them so that's always quite good but i'm gonna keep doing that i haven't got any at the second i'll have to make some more for this evening to get them out again um so we're getting around to the back nearly which is fine let's carry this roof on uh, what do i use to make the renders so i use a program called chunky um which is quite an old program now i think um and you you just sort of load in the worlds and it allows you to load in you know chunks as, as you please to be able to render stuff now i do it as the full world i think a lot of people tend to just copy and paste their builds into a blank world and do it that way but i like to do mine with a bit of oomph i mean you can see here that's one of the renders and it's got the whole atmosphere of the town in there still so that's kind of what i like to do uh oh got another follower thank you for that welcome to the stream how's it going right let's do the old copy and paste and get this around actually no we'll do the windows on the inside first so you may be wondering why have you blocked out all your windows um it's to add a little bit of extra depth to the build because i don't always do the interiors because we've got an entire town to build slash world it's a bit much to be able to do um interiors as well i do them for a few builds but mainly because i end up doing uh tutorials on those so it's quite quite good to get an interior in an tutorial in a tutorial once so but i probably should do the interior for this church because it's a prominent build you kind of want prominent builds to have uh, the insides done but we'll see we'll see what happens i mean i showed you earlier on if you were here a minute ago the church in town i have actually done that with right, i'm gonna fill that in and copy and paste that oh um and the way i use so uh, like actual glass panes gives a little bit of extra depth to the window um but i've also used iron trap doors on the side uh, you may be wondering again, oh, how are you doing that? Either the debug stick, or because we've got a builder's utilities plug-in, we can do it with our hands. So, but, but iron trap doors just really, really help make this, this style of building work so much better. And also connected textures turned off in, in, uh, in um, Optifine, again, helps this build come to life. Because you end up with the window panes rather than um, just blank sheets of window. Well, I took some inspiration from your Park Crescent off there. So, yeah, your Instagram page has been helpful. Oh, very nice. Um, I mean, I can show you that now if you wish. Uh, let's have a look at that over here. Uh, it's not the best Crescent ever. It's 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 an older build of mine. I built it back in January when I was still learning the style. It was part of my 750 subscriber special. But, yeah, to me, it works. It looks nice. It does do its job. We've got uh, this building here, which I actually have done the inside for, and this is where the Lord Mayor resides when he's when he's um, in charge of the town. Uh, it's quite nice. A bit, bit more modern than I was expecting the inside should be, but I never finished the area around it, which is a shame. Um, it does have a train station attached to it, so this half of the building here is actually the ticket hall and the train station for this build, uh, which is a bit of an odd one again, but it was just an, an idea we had, so you go up here go onto the platform catch the train or you know you can come down to the end here and look over the back courtyard area with all the um other bits going on here yeah that was based on um the, the crescent in bath let's have a look at it with some shaders on um that's that's kind of the idea for that the royal crescent but again this is back when i was still figuring out the style a bit more i'm quite new to it still i'm really quite new to this style so it's you know, you see buildings like this lying around are a bit a bit plain, a bit bare. But yeah, the backs of these buildings were some of my favourite I think I've done. So not only was the front interesting, I also built like the back sections at angles with whole wings and, and stuff. We've even got big bays here, full length bays. Oh come on, they do look good. Um uh ISOC, ah, oh, welcome, hello there. Um, but yeah, so it sits next to the river Lymore as well, which is the main lifeblood of the town. It, it works well. Oh, and then this is the uh, 
the to toll house. Uh, you have to pass through here to get into town. So you pay a toll to get in, or you can walk around it on foot and get yourself into Wolverhampton. Uh, just one of these really random builds that I just love doing. Yeah, it does look class. Gave me an idea for building a raised crescent walkway around the plaza outside my cathedral build. Ooh, that sounds nice. Uh, I'm liking the face cam. It's awesome. Oh, thanks, Bonnie Bond. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? A uh, bit of an early one today. Thought I'd capture as many people as I could on a Saturday afternoon. But, yeah, so that's the canal docks. Um, this tower is my only pet peeve now. It just feels a little bit big. Um, but I like it. It stays there. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, this bit here is the first part of town I built. Uh, all these buildings are a bit odd. A bit off scale. A bit strange. But, again, it's, it's no biggie. Everything can change over time. Or we just leave it and abandon this place. Which is probably what's going to happen. Um, oh, hello, by the way. Yeah, good, mate. How are you? Yes, good, thanks. Caffeinated the eyeballs and raised the build. That should be a slogan on the side of my mug. Um, but, yeah, no, the face cam, I'm enjoying having a face cam on. I think it I think it works well. Gives a nice little, gives a nice bit, little picture to look at. I like how I'm looking over here because you guys are here. But you're also over here because that's very bright light. But, yep, so I'm going to take a little break quickly. It's just been about an hour of streaming. I'll be back in about five minutes. I'm going to leave you with a quick look at that. And then off onto the renders.
Okay, we're back. Sorry, it's a bit longer than usual. But, yep, so let's carry on building. Um, so we're carrying on with this church. Let me get the shaders off just to see what's going on. Um, but, yeah, so how's everyone today? What are you guys up to? Anyone's just joined? Oh, I think we've got uh, names back in the chat. I oh, know he didn't leave. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to think, actually, in my head how big I want this churchyard to be. Um, ignore this road. That isn't the road anymore. If I can probably just take that mask off. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to cover that back up. Oh no. Oh no. Terraforming's begun. Don't worry, it's not going to not gonna go on forever. It's just a quick little sort this out type terraform. There we go. Maybe a bit more. <laughs> Maybe a bit more that way. Oh, we'll, we'll sort that out later on, but let's try and fill this in because it looks a bit hideous. Um, yes, yeah, so it's going to be a fairly sizable graveyard um like i said it's it caters for the workhouse as well so i was thinking it would probably come out um carry on along this edge so it will be a diagonal let me put the let me put this wall in here i i, I have no clue how i'm gonna make any of this into a time lapse <laughs> it's all gone a bit all over the place but yeah uh oxy 10 hello there welcome to the stream how's it going uh, if you're new here, we are currently building a town known as Wolhampton. Uh, I'm building one of the churches for it. Uh, we've got oh, a lovely view around here. Got some diagonal builds on the go down this way. So that carries on pretty much. So that'll be all of that. Because I'm going to build houses along this side. And they'll back on to this nice park here. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, just having a little chill on a build. Um... Yes, welcome to the stream. Lovely stuff. Uh, this is my first Saturday afternoon stream. And so far, so good. I'm really, really liking meeting some new people, actually. It's, it's been good. We've had a, we've had good success so far with with the normal live streams on the Saturday and, well, on the evenings. But it'd be quite nice to do a few more of these afternoon ones on the weekends to see who's about, really. But yeah, anyone working on anything interesting related to Minecraft or anything like that, let me know. It's always nice to see what's going on. Okay, so we say that's probably going to about there, because then we can put some houses along that road. That road can then carry on up there. Cool. So that means we can now change that direction back to this and bring this all the way up. And this can be the edge of the wall. I'm currently installing world edit gonna try out oh perfect stuff I think you're never gonna put it down uh, playing without world edit is a crime finally able to catch a stream let's go ah yes well, welcome to the stream so yep different time than usual but we're gonna crack it on um, get as much done today as I can afternoons are quite nice to do it in I think my only constraint is I got to cook dinner in a couple of hours so that's that um, can you get World Edit on Xbox? You cannot, no. World Edit is only a mod for um, Java version of Minecraft. So unfortunately it's not available on Bedrock Edition. That's quite a nice plot. Quite large. Different angles which will always work out quite nicely in the long run. That should be able to extend back a bit more. And we're going to put a house in here. Who will be probably the the uh what's the word vicar that's it the vicar of the church maybe it can extend that way a bit more i don't know we're gonna have a bit of a strange one never used world of it just done the um in survival oh yeah i forgot you can use it with survival obviously it takes what blocks you have and uses it rather than the infinite supply of blocks i have playing creative i was helping a friend with a target game at the moment um his game I'm um, idiot proofing. Ah, oh, well, I wouldn't call you that. I finished my cathedral yesterday, so I'm starting uh, my hated terraforming the area around it to start building. Wow, well, terraforming is what it is. Um, I love and also hate it at the same time, but it brings an area to life, really. So if we look at this. Okay, it's probably about the same sort of size. Nice. It's now a car park, the actual graveyard, but it works. So let me carry on the building before my time lapse goes all wrong. Um, 
Yes. I, I, I don't know why. I keep getting asked what seed do I use for this world. This world it doesn't exist in um, any new version of Minecraft. This, this world came from 1.19. Yeah, 1.96, I think it was. So it's a bit on the uh, on the weird or, or obscure side. So I don't think you'll be able to use the seed this day and age to be able to create the same environment. Also, it's been terraformed to the bejesuses. So it's never going to look the same anyway. Um, I can imagine. So to be honest, building for one in survival big cities just doesn't doesn't interest me. A grind doesn't seem worth it. Where even building in creative is an absolute mission and a half. Because you've got so much more to do. Because you've become a bit more ambitious. That's the word. Ambitious. Um, so you still spend hours and hours. If I was to try and do this in survival. I probably wouldn't have a job anymore. Because I would just have to spend all day every day doing it. Um, I do want to do some survival episodes, a series where I build, you know, like a solo survival world and I have a go at building an English village or something. I think that'd be quite nice, a nice little series to do, but no position yet to do that. No, 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 no. Terraformed to the bejesus, yes, that's, <laughs> that's my, that's my phrase on here. My PC, well, I don't even know if it's PC, but my, my phrase I use to keep it kid friendly. Uh, I have never used word edit. You are missing out, my friend. I mean, I use it. I use it a lot. Like, it is that main tool that a builder, especially the one that plays on Java, is required to have at least some knowledge of. It it just really really helps. Gives you that chance to be more ambitious. So what I'm going to do next is going to be um, a proper use of the tool. And it'll be a flipping of this over so we can get it on the other side of the building. Uh, I used to have PC, but one day it wouldn't turn on. Ah, the hard drive went by the sounds of it then. That's sad. It's always always annoying when that happens. I'm ultimately hoping this never happens to this PC because it's, it's getting to about three years old now. So I could do with looking at getting a new one. But I'm kind of waiting for the channel to pick up. So... <laughs> The ad revenue can pay for it. I, I don't know. So um, that's what I like to do. I like to reinvest any money I make from YouTube into new equipment and new games and that. So this webcam, this webcam has um, come from from my my recent ad revenue on 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 YouTube. So thank you so much to everyone that's watched my videos because that's helped towards all of that. So yeah, it's it's quite a nice thing to be able to do that, and it, it gives gives everyone a bit more of a of a nicer nicer view oh hi uh, hello there welcome to the stream um i've just been to chester oaks and got loads of cabri okay i don't know what chester oaks is but sure ah limbo hello there so i think that looks good as good as it can do for this. I I still probably think we should probably put maybe, I don't know. Do you recommend any real life towns and cities that have a lot of good buildings I can use for inspiration? Well, the one I use all the time is this one here at Limington. Um, if you look along the south coast of England, you'll find some really nice Georgian and Victorian towns. It all depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a seaside town, um, somewhere in Chester with loads of designer shops. Oh no, I have heard of Chester Oaks. Yes, I thought. It's like Bista Village and that sort of thing. It's like um, an Outlook sh uh, out outlook place, isn't it? A tax-free haven sort of thing. Um, but anyway, back to it. You can always look at places like London and um, I think even Portsmouth has quite a lot in it. Southampton. Uh, where else would I like to say? Just let me... Let me quickly just get this map up and I can show you a few ideas so this is Limington I use it's, it's a lovely lovely sized town for this but it's mine don't use it you're not allowed to use it um, but you've got places like Bournemouth as well they have nice old buildings in it um, again it is all depending on what you want if you want an industrial one you can go somewhere like Eastleigh um, I, I'm literally just using ones from my local area to show off this sort of stuff but you've got 
it, 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 yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a tough one because that's a question that's um yeah very open ended. Uh, I mean, even places like Basingstoke. <laughs> Don't do that. Basingstoke's nice. Um, you got some nice buildings here. This used to be um a bit of a market square. It's now just dominated by McDonald's. What a shame. This was a nice town once upon a time. It's a good inspiration, actually. I do want to use some of these buildings. I, do you know what I love? I love it when you put a bit of different coloured bricks together and that quartz. That's actually a really nice building. It's called the Haymarket. Um, sorry, I'm just getting excited about buildings again. Need a classic Norman town. Oh, I'm 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 sorry. I I I I don't I don't I don't I don't conform to coal mining. <laughs> no, um, you got all sorts of lovely towns there, like Liverpool, obviously, around the old docks and that. You got some beautiful buildings. Um, where is the library building? I don't know. Is it this way? There it is. So I do like this, but this is all Edwardian, so it's great stuff. Great use of anything that you can really think of. Um, Again, that's a nice Georgian church there. That's very good. Good bit of inspiration. Um, yeah, look at that place. I love that building. Uh, but yeah, even if you go to Manchester or whatnot, yeah, Liverpool definitely is one I need to include in my list of places. Now, I was having a look around. You've, you've started me off on one now. Um, I was having a look down. Where was it? Was it here? Was it this place? This seems very posh, yes. Oh yes, oh yes, these buildings here, oh look at them, they're really really nice fancy Regency build. oh, <laughs> just look at them, they are beautiful, looking out over that, look at this row of just gorgeous Georgian buildings, oh, oh you're close to my town now, <laughs> um, you need to look up when you walk around, yes, I'm cliffing that bit, <laughs> It was bound to happen at some point. But, I mean, even buildings like this, it gets in that nice gothic Victorian stage as well. Oh, yes. Um, where was I the other day looking and, and exclaiming my love for it? Oh, that was it, Scarborough. So, on the other side of the coast, I was... Where is Scarborough? Uh, it's Middlesbrough. No, it's not that far up, is it? It's Gagness, Grimsby. Where... Or is it further up? Bridlington, Scarborough. There we go. So there was some lovely stuff in Scarborough. Uh, Lundudno. Lundudno is true as well. But that's a different country. I, I, I don't treat... I treat the Welsh architecture as slightly different. But yeah, you got more... You can tell what my favourite type of buildings are. It's just these ones. But then we come over here. And we find that other road I found the other day. If I can find that road again... I'm going to exclaim many, many... F oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it was coming. I knew that one was behind there. Look at it. Look at that. That is a nice Gothic Victorian house. Ah, Popeye, hello. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Um, random afternoon stream because I've got my camera now and why not sit here and stream for all eternity? Uh, we're not actually building anything. <laughs> We're literally just looking at buildings now, going, ooh, ah, uh, hmm, hmm. But uh, anyway, um, uh, Dead Ghost, thank you for following. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're currently looking around a guided tour of Scarborough. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, you've clipped it now, have you? Uh, I'm off on one now. <laughs> uh, you're gonna. I'm gonna have to post that on um. Post that on, 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 on WBC streams later on. Uh, get yourself over to my town, Warrington. Oh, I was over there a second ago. That's what you meant by I was close. But yeah, so there are beautiful towns up north as well. I mean, actually, before we go back over east, uh, sorry, west, we'll have a look at Newcastle. Um, because even though it comes with a caveat of being up north, it's beautiful. There is Grey Street, which I'm looking at right now, which is probably the finest example of blurred out buildings no of georgian architecture all built with its original color still intact this is on par with bath and yes just look at it just just look at it oh 
A wild Max plays has entered the chat. <laughs> uh, get yourself to my town. Oh, right, yeah. I'm sure we can. Um, oh, some like that in Devon. Yes, there is. So we're doing a whole countrywide, country countrywide um look around here. Gloucestershire is good. Gloucestershire is very good. The colour of the stone is fantastic. It really is. Welcome to WBC streams where we're currently streaming, looking around the UK. So where are we going? Um, Warrington, wasn't it? Where was that? Was that over here? Did I? Did I find it earlier? Or was it a bit further north? You're going to have to guide me. Hello, new here. What's up? What's up indeed? So, welcome to the stream. Currently looking around the UK, uh, exclaiming um, at build. Oh, there it is. I like to look at buildings and, and, and make faces and noises. Oh, there is some. Oh. 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 Ah. Uh, ha, ha, ha. There we go. There's some good looking buildings there. Yes. Oh, this is really nice. I like the square. Um, <laughs> this is this is all this has all gone a bit peak tong now. We've all gone into um. Was that a train station once? Or is it something else? Oh no, it seems to be a tapas bar. Okay, moving on swiftly. Yes, this is a very nice town. You have um. You have given me some ideas. Oh, it's even got a bridge. The River Mersey. Oh yeah. Okay, right. Anyway, there's that. Um, I guess we should start building. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying this as well. Well, there is Minecraft. Um, this 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 takes precedence sometimes over the Minecraft. Uh, um, there's an old mental hospital near me that's abandoned and planning on building it. It's the most fantastic building I've seen it in person. I love it. Do you know what I think? Is it over? In, you said I think the other day you were from Ireland. I think I may have seen a video on. On that the other day actually on some urban explorers channel or at least an abandoned insane asylum over there uh, other towns to include in our list of beautiful buildings that i can just make noises at um <laughs> not even happy noises just noises at is down here in plymouth where we can just go oh just look at them and they they are perfect example of how i like my buildings overlooking a railway line um <laughs> Oh dear, but yes, uh, it's all gone a bit funny. <laughs> we've all we've we've taken a rambling turn. Um, we actually are rambling around the country. Um, this building here, actually, um, I built this one in in Wolverhampton. So, um, hello streamer, hello Irish Ivan, welcome to the stream. Uh, Anthrum has some really nice buildings and some made in the 1600s. Oh, very nice. Denby Asylum is gorgeous. Yeah, again, that's a lovely one. Um, you like your buildings looking for railway lines. Is that a thing? Um, it is for a man who's obsessed with industrial archaeology and industrialness. So if you're living in a beautiful Victorian uh, villa like that, and you've got a beautiful look across the railway line, that's just it's perfect. But all of this is going to be included in my town of Sutton. So be tuned. Be tuned. Stay tuned for that. Uh, anyone that's new here as well, please go check out my YouTube channel. I believe I have the link working on the... Um, um, oh, you saw an Apple Maps car today. Oh, okay, it's pretty cool. I, I didn't know they had Street View. But yes, so have a little check out of my channel if you wish to see it. If you just type in this command here, I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> By the way, I followed you. Ah, oh, thank you. That's very nice. We, we, oh, that's not the one I wanted to put. It, yes, it is. It should be. There we go. Um, so, yes. Anyway, Minecraft. Where were we? We are currently building. There we go. Everyone can just... Uh, yeah, you got it working. Yes, I did. I thank you, for, thank you for your help on that one. Much, much appreciated. What are we doing? Because if I put that as an overhang, I don't think it's going to work. But I think it would look better. This is, this is the dilemma I'm in myself currently. Um... Not sure. Not sure about that at all. I, I kind of like it, but I kind of don't at the same time. Uh, Mega Death Zone 19 has followed. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, 
hello I'm new here welcome so lots of new faces today so today I'm just currently building some stuff in Minecraft uh, I say some stuff I'm building this an entire town known as Wolhampton based upon real life buildings from the real world such as these that's not a building that's just an entire town um, interesting I don't have much knowledge about architecture overall however I am willing to see what things I get to see ah cool yeah, I, I literally make sure that you guys see and understand everything I do. I like to explain it um, and give you a bit of history behind it. Okay. This could work. This could work very well. Um, do you know when you're starting your new city? Um, take a look around and breathe in the emptiness that needs filling in first. Uh, I'm aiming to have it started by the end of September. Um, we, will, we will see how that goes. Um yeah that's kind of the idea i think that looks all right okay we'll, we'll run with that we'll put it on the other side as well so let me do the old copy and paste and we can get this going so we're gonna take it from here uh maybe put some carpet above the hopper oh good idea just yeah i've had to use a bit of carpet up here to um help blend in that as well or have i yeah, I have. Um, yeah, that can, that'll do. Well, that will do. Right, let's... Um, where did I put that first point? I think it was over there. Let's do the old switcher route. Uh, try hoppers above the fences, maybe. You mean like that? I think I'm, I don't know if I read that out of order. <laughs> um, right, we're going to do the old copy and the old flipper and the old paster. Um, and then that should look okay. Let's inspect it. Yeah, I thought we missed out a line, but that's all right. We can get that in. Quick little line across the top. And then we're going to need to stick some... I don't know if it has chimneys on the original building. So let me quickly take us back to Google Maps because that's where we spend all our time um, looking at things. So I'm going to show you the building I'm basing this off. It's over here in Limington. Don't ask me how I know how quickly to move between towns in the UK, but it's a passion of mine. So there is a slight little... Um, there are no chimneys in that building. There's, there's, a, there's a very small heating flume. <laughs> that's about it. Um, so do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add some chimneys because oh, it's all gone a bit wrong there. Um, so we'll add a little bit of extra depth on there. Um, oh, right. That's fine. Um, cool. I like this. I think this looks good. So I'm going to quickly put maybe a chimney at the back. Because you would still probably need a fireplace in here. How is that going to look? Is that going to look out of place? No, it does add a bit of extra. That does add something more. Uh, you can see here I use anvils as my chimneys. It's just a, a passion of mine. <laughs> it's an obsession, I would say, actually. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do... This, is building, this, this main building is done. Hey, what's up? Just got in here. Welcome, Harvey. How's it going? Um, I'm going to bring this all the way around. Now, coming off of this side, we're going to have a bit more of the building. Probably about eight blocks back this way. I don't think that was eight. It was nine, so that's probably even better. That's going to come down and probably go just over halfway. And it's going to form like a little office or room at the back. And this is kind of what you want to do just to give a bit more depth to a building. Uh, and again, I'm going to have another building here, another room. That could even be like the little steps down to come out into the back store cupboard or something again it just helps add some stuff he is building beautiful things and we are all going ooh ah i don't know if we're all going ooh ah i i know i am um okay so this rusticated base is now going to turn into a brick base because when you get around the back of buildings the money runs out and everyone goes mm. apart from the bit you can see from the graveyard so we're going to keep this bit painted white like this and move this all the way up although it's not actually white it's very much a creamy color um i'm debating 
what to do with this roof at the back. Do I add another portico? Hmm. The answer is no. And I'll tell you why. Because I don't know. Uh, no, what I'm going to do is just cap it off with this as an overhang. I think that may sort out a few of our gripes with it. That should be okay. I don't know if we need an overhang. Uh, like the layout of the stream, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is the this is the first time you've popped by since I've had the webcam on. Um, I think it looks really good. What's up with the quartz textures? Texture pack to make chisel quartz looks fancier. No, this is this is one point one six, my friend. We now have quartz bricks. This is this is all part of the new Never update, along with blackstone and blackstone bricks. Where have you been hiding? Um, this has been around now for months. I've, I've even produced videos on it, being someone that doesn't follow trends that well. Even I have sat around and made a video on it. Uh, I forgot about that. Too many things came out. Yeah, they did. Loads of things came out. Um, yeah, I... Is this angle nice? That's my question. I watched back the stream, and I'm never looking at the camera, because the camera is, like, off to my left. My screen's there. I also have you guys on the right-hand screen. So I'm always flicking between these two and then occasionally back to that one just to give a stern look. But yeah, apart from that, it's kind of just all over the place. Um, let me fill this in as much as I can with white concrete and then we can work out the rest. Oh, and also funny thing is I'm actually building today. A lot of you guys, whenever you pop by for the streams, always find me not building. You'll find me sort of sitting here rambling about stuff or moaning about things or or very much not building but today and for this day only i'm actually building so i'm trying to work out how this is going to look from to back let's have a go but yeah you, you guys have caught me now on camera going ooh and ah over buildings it's been a meme for a little while but now you've now you've seen my my face and how how i excel at uh, buildings <laughs> that I love. So the reason I've gone for bricks around here, I think I just explained is once you sort of go past the the facade you can see, also it's an extension I think um, you tend to end up using a basicer block a block that you wouldn't spend too much money on and bricks being bricks, they were quite cheap during the Victorian period and they still are now I think um, I have two clips of UNR proof, really okay, they're going to have to go up on the um on the on the on the WBC streams, um, set that to forty five and a bit of granite. Um, we'll see how this goes. Do the same here. Do I want this all the way up? No, this one is just going to be a smaller room. It doesn't go all the way up. Take that down, maybe about four blocks. And on there is going to be a little hipped roof. Um, we're going to use this, this, and this. So this, I, I sort of thought to myself the other day, okay, so yes, you do take inspiration from real life buildings. You do tend to copy quite a bit. And I don't know if people look at me and go, huh, you fraud. I don't like you anymore. Or not, probably not, because that would just be weird. Um, but then I realized when it comes to building the backs of buildings, that's when it's all me. That's when it's all my creativity flowing. So... These are my signature pieces in the backs of buildings. Um, rambling about stuff is quite nice, especially in days where talking about the talking with others is difficult. Besides, nothing wrong with rambling. You've actually found the right place to be. Then um, this these streams take a turn. They take a rambling turn. It's like walking down a hillside constantly. I don't know what that analogy was, but it exists now. Okay. So Wild Max Plays is now followed. Thank you for the follow. Um, so that's when the door comes out. So where is the floor in this place? Let me try and work that out. We may have to put some stairs. Oh, golly. Okay. Prepare to get a bit dark in here. Let's, let's open up a few windows. So when you walk into this place, you're greeted with a floor here. So that comes out like that. 
So to go into these back buildings, I would say, yeah, you come down the staircase. Let me get a bit more light in here. So uh, there'll be an internal wall somewhere, blah, blah, blah. That's a window there, isn't it, though? I don't know. Yeah, anyway, there'll be a, there'll be a wall, and then you, you go through a door, down some steps, and that brings you out. So I'll say some steps here. It brings you out onto a floor level a slightly lower. Yeah, so that fills in like that. Okay. Sorry, that was the worst explanation of what I was trying to do there ever. But you now get the idea that this floor is slightly lower than that floor. So help me God. Okay. So that gives us this floor. So this is going to be the the vicar's office. Uh, where, he, where he talks about churchy stuff. I don't go to church, so I don't know. Um, I don't know what they discuss in there. I don't know if we want to know what they discuss in there. Maybe the inner workings of the Catholic Church, or this isn't the Catholic Church. Right, and then we're going to have a little stairway down. So you come out of that door onto a little patio uh, and across there. Yeah, we'll have a little bit of an ornate stair thing on here. Yeah, we very, very rarely talk about the actual game in these streams. If you find me talking about the game, I've gone off track. That's me going off piste, so yeah. May I suggest giving yourself some night vision? The command is effect. Um, oh, gotta go now. Love the stream so far. Can't wait until the next one. Bye. Oh, thanks for watching. Uh, you could do, or I'm not gonna go inside again for a little bit. <laughs> um, does that affect my exterior look? Probably. Um, and then what's going to happen here is because this is a nice little corner. Ah, hotkey's back. Welcome back. Um, so I need to figure out what I'm going to do with paths. I think if we have the path that runs down the side of this building, so we're going to put a couple of gates at the front or a gate to access the the graveyard. It's quite a big yard. This is quite a big graveyard. It's good. It is good. Um, let me finish this building off first. So we're going to have the vicar's office, and then this house will be over there so whenever it comes to planning a town um, people always ask me so what do you know to build where a lot of the time it is just a random case of so you build one thing and then you kind of have to build another thing to, to service that one thing um, honestly mate talking about the game is something that everyone does it's rare to see someone who doesn't well I always get told that um, the whole streaming thing is to never really focus on the game you got to try and talk about life and things and interests and that. And that's what I do quite well. How do I want this roof? Could have a double... Do we want it double... Do want a double piled or single piled? Like that? Is that what we want? I don't really know. Uh, my apologies. I seem to have forgotten how to type. Um, oh, that's fair enough. That's fine. I'm going to head off now, man. Have a good stream. Thanks. Um, chat to you later on. Right. Uh, what is it? Half past one? No, it's really not half past one. <laughs> don't know where your timekeeping's gone, but. Make some interesting roofs at the back here. Just a bit of detail there. Yes, yeah, so you can see this little thing here has been built on a lot later. So that's why it looks a bit odd. Uh, it's just like a little... That's the exit. That's how you get out. But yeah, I think this looks quite nice as a roof. A roof. So we're going we're gonna to extend that. Do you want to extend it down one? Do you want to have a little overlap? Oh, we could do. It doesn't look bad. So I'm now mumbling things. <laughs> as opposed to rambling, I'm just mumbling. Um, yeah, so my idea with planning this town out for a little bit is to have some of my other builders come on over and have a go at adding some buildings just to help this um, this area flourish a bit quicker because it is going to take a little bit longer than I anticipated really. But that is how it is. Does that stick out too much? Do we see too much of that? Don't see enough of it. Good. Okay. 
Right, I'm going to take a quick little break. Be back in about five minutes, guys. Don't go anywhere. You'll see some more of this.
Ooh. All right, I'm back. All the buttons went a bit weird. I think I left the mic unmuted. I don't know what you heard, but you probably heard things. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it for a bit. Um, I've seen some people do it. Not many, though. It's quite astonishing. Do you dial right look good as an accent task? Yeah. Um, I think people just don't like it, do they, as, a, as an accent? But to be honest, it, it's better than quartz a lot of the time. I find quartz too much. Um, for me, quartz, you know, it works on buildings where it's a white accent like that. But I think diorite just works well in, in senses like this because it's a different, a different form of white. It's like an off-white, like a, like a bit more of a lead lining, like, um, like you sort of expect to see on the edges of builds. Well, at least that's my understanding of it. So I am going to put a chimney on the end of this one. Uh, so you come in, there'll be a fireplace at the back of the room or something. So let's stick it up through the middle like that. Uh, grab a grab a thing. And then we can hopefully finish the top of that roof and get to probably doing a little bit of the graveyard. I'm not sure yet. Um, I might try and plan the rest of that road out first before we put the graveyard in. Just so I get a better understanding of how this area is going to look. But yeah, so anyone up to anything interesting today? How are you guys up? How are you guys doing? Right, let's finish this bit off and then get the corners on. Um, yeah, the only problem with using slabs, obviously, is you end up with a bit of a a problem when it comes to putting whole blocks underneath you have to use that same slab there doesn't look amazing that's why I put the overhang on there so it hides it away a bit oh, there we go oh yeah cause that's chimneys there okay but yeah so that's the little um, office at the back I'll put a couple of windows in there let's go on inside um, this is probably where I needed night mode again but it's fine because break that out so we'll have a couple of windows so we've got two in from that side Probably have the same again, so one, two. And we can probably have three nice big windows at the back of this building for the vicar to look out on over the graveyard. Or maybe two. Let's have two and leave this side like that because that's where the fireplace is going to go. Yeah, that looks alright. Yeah, and then we can put maybe a tree growing up there or something. Perfect stuff. So let me come back inside. Um, what I'm going to do is go back inside here and grab out. Oh, I punched straight through there. Wow. Okay. How on earth did I manage that? Right. Anyway. So we're going to just double, double up this wall on the inside here. Get a bit more depth into it and all of that. But yeah, so I don't know if Saturday day time streams are going to become a thing or not. <laughs> I think this is just probably a one-off for today. Um, but let me know if this is a, a comfortable time for you to watch these streams at that's four blocks high we don't want that really um because i can always try and make it happen um it's been quite a good viewership so far got a different audience in which is interesting come in three blocks high um doo -doo -doo. right can't really think about what I want there. Maybe I want bone block at the base. Um, it's just going to put a bit of accent around in these windows so they aren't just fully brick. Tend to try and add a bit of white to them because that's kind of how these windows are painted. That gives a bit more height to that window. Don't know. Not sure about that. Might just, might just leave that as brick at the top there. Hmm, not sure about that either. Uh, it's quite a conversation time, a convenient time for me. It's about five. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um, so where are you then? I guess you're over in Australia? No. Somewhere in that direction. Huh. 
Huh. Maybe I need a window ledge underneath that. Could do that. Could lift up a little bit more. Uh, close, but not close enough. Oh, I see. Uh, that part of the world, let's say. Right, like that. I see how that looks. Both of them in. A bit of glass behind them. I mean, for the back windows of a building, <laughs> they look fine. Don't know why I was panicking over them. So come back in here, put a bit of glass in them. Jobs are good. Um, when you make the graveyard, can you add a grave with my name on? Um, I really just want a grave with my name on. Okay, well, um, I'll have it as, as, as that. Yeah, that's an interesting one. We'll come around to that. Uh, so what's that, mortar 053? I've just written that down in front of me. So we can we can add that on if I remember. I'm not sure I'm going to get around to building the graveyard just yet. Um, yeah, so we'll leave the interior probably looking like this. No need to put anything in it yet. Yes, I know it helps add a bit of extra detail, but I think this is going to look all right for now. Um, like that. And like that. Cool. So when we come around to doing this little area in a second, that will all blend in quite nicely. I think that looks good. Fireplace on the end there. I don't know. Um, I might space it out a bit more. That's clearly three blocks. Oh, hang on.
I think this is going to be the issue with doing a Saturday daytime. People seem to want things and, and stuff. So let's try and get as much more done as we can for the second before we probably have to inevitably end. I'm just going to carry on building the back of this church now. Um, don't know what you mean by that part of the world. I'm sh not sure nothing wrong. No, no, I meant just more the east, eastern hemisphere. Um, as in in the future from, from here. Uh, that's what I meant by that part of the world. Nothing sinister there. Right, let's build this all the way up. I'm um, not sure help. Um... Oh, okay, right. But yeah, anyone just joined the stream, welcome. I'm just currently building a large neoclassical church building here in my town of Wolhampton. Just adding it here, uh, sitting in this large plot. It's going to be the graveyard for it. Uh, we'll see how that turns out in a bit. Right, so I'm just going to go through now and fill in these little gaps. It shouldn't look too bad. And bring this down. Uh, and that should match up with that. Yeah, it does. Perfect stuff. What's going on at the front here? I've had to do that bit of carpet there just to... Uh, or did we? I, to be honest, I don't know. I don't think we need that bit of carpet there. I think that looks alright. But yeah, it's got a good looking front to it, I think. I do like this building. It just needs a little bit of landscaping around it now. Um, is the back completely done? Did I finish that? Yeah, uh, I'm debating putting some windows in the back. Oh, no, I haven't put the, the extra bits in there. I will have a quick look inside, but I, don't, I think sometimes maybe, maybe just two windows uh, that will match up with these two windows here. So when's that? It's one, two in from the side, and it's one, two, three up from there. Okay, we'll do that. I think that'll look quite nice. So what do we need? Need that and that. So one, two, and then one, one, two, three. Or is that too close to these ones? No, that should be okay. We can probably build that all the way around if we did the internal wall. Yes. Yep, yeah, that looks fine. Cool, but yeah, so anyone up to anything interesting today? Um, those that have just started their day, those that are just finishing. Uh, you could use upside down diorite stairs to cover up the stone bricks and the overhang. Um, yeah, could do. That wouldn't look maybe too bad. We'll have a look. So now you end up with a bit of a step in it then. Mm, actually, that doesn't look too bad. We're going to probably leave it as that. I think that's all right. Yeah, that covers it up nicely. Cool. Thanks for that little tip there. Okay, and put these little corners on like that and like that. Perfect. Let's grab out a bit more of that. Right you are. Like that, perfect stuff. Um, and then we'll probably do the same on this side. So you won't have a window in the center as such, because I think we'll probably put the, the nave or whatnot there. So we'll do the same again. Or maybe maybe have two windows. Uh, but we'll, we'll definitely do the same over here. So one, two, one, two, three. Like that. Uh, would you prefer the cave update or the vertical slabs update? I don't care for the vertical slabs, so probably cave. Um, I think vertical slabs would take away too much of what we know and love about this game. Uh, it'll add a, a new sense, a new dimension, really, that I just don't think is going to ever work in this game. Um, two baby zombies just attacks me. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that's my, my stance on the, the uh, vertical slabs. 
Uh, and speaking to quite a few other builders, I believe they feel the same. There's just too much that it would um. It would it would it would cause a huge difference between versions of of the game in the sense of you would have all of this information and challenges you've been through to build, and it suddenly gets wiped away like it was nothing. I just I don't think there's there's a place for them in this game. I like trapdoors for what they can do, but we, you know don't know what's going on. Just join. So today I am building a church. Uh, almost done with the actual building itself. Um, I'm just going to add the landscaping around it to get it looking good. Uh, but first of all, I need to come through and actually map out a road. So that's the church building done itself. I think that looks good. Um, got a couple of windows at the back overlooking what will be the graveyard. We'll probably have to put a drain pipe down here as well. So I'm going to grab that. Uh, you may be wondering how I've unwelded it, and that is all to do with using the debug stick that I've got in my hand there really useful little tool there just helps with all sorts of little bits of detail like that so i'm gonna ooh, i'll probably stick that one in there uh, and i'll do it on top of the drain pipe bring that down like that um okay facing uh no okay that's not gonna work let me just do that then wow i seem to be double clicking a lot what's going on and it's un unweld that. There we go. But yeah, that's quite an interesting perspective. One I haven't heard before. Thanks a lot. No worries. Um, I saw a few just curious of they're all done inside. No, no, they can't. I, I can't possibly do them all in inside. There are far too many buildings in, in this town to do the interiors for. Um, I've done a few like floor layouts and stuff in a few of them, but honestly, there is there is not enough time in, in, in a year to do all of these. <laughs> um, there are so many. Yeah, no, exactly. There are too many to be able to uh, decorate all of them. So what I do now is just come across and sort out this bit of terraforming through here. So we can get this next part of the town going. So I'm just going to level this off here. Take that back around that way. I tend to do this with sand, which I will start doing in a second. So let me just do a VR cylinder of 12 and then 10. I'm going to start just placing this all around. Yes, the sand will fall through, but that's the idea of it. It's there to cover all the holes so we don't get left with loads of big holes under the ground which are annoying when you start building and you suddenly just have to fill in a hole. Right, let's fill in that. So yeah, I've terraformed pretty much all of this area by hand, like doing it this way. And it's got to look so much better than it originally did, which is great. Right, perfect stuff, and that gets tapered off around this corner. Yeah, looks good. Right, okay. Um, do I strip that back a bit there, or is that where the road's going to go? Yeah. So what I'm going to grab out is another cylinder tool, which will be a actual air cylinder. So, and we can use that to just clear away some of the stuff we don't want. Uh, I'm new to MC period, uh, playing, um, building survival, um, creative tricks and things. I've blown my mind. Oh, really? Um, yeah. This is all using uh, World Edit, which is a mod for Java. Um, it's so useful. It's just one of those things that I recommend every builder has a go at because they will start learning things they never knew they needed to know. And there is so much to do and so many cool things you can build. Right, so that road, okay. We bring this contour around like that. Yeah, so this isn't obviously part of the base game, but it's worth getting involved in. And that can come around a bit more like that. 
Now, if you're new to the streams, you won't know, but I do this a lot, terraforming. Um, because there's just so much to go on. Seems like a tedious task, regardless of having well done it. Um, I wouldn't say tedious. It's, it's very, once you start doing it, and once you kind of just get into the flows of it, it's very therapeutic. You sort of just look at, look at contours and go, right, we want this round here and round there. Um, building with the base sort of Minecraft, um, landscapes isn't great. It's really hard to do what we want to do because the scale is slightly out. So you got to sort of terraform and, and get it going, looking nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to bring this around like that. means where are we at this place all oh, right this this contour can come all the way across here then that seems to be like that okay um now you mentioned it that is quite true yeah and that's kind of why i do it on these streams because it's nice just to chat away while doing it <laughs> otherwise it can become quite a, a tedious task right So, okay, so that builds up to the edge there. Um, can you please add my Minecraft username? Um, by the way, are you on Bedrock Edition? No and no. Um, what are those purple bits? So the purple bits are where the road will be. Um, and the blue bits are also the same. I've just changed the color of wall. I was doing it while using it. Um, yeah, so that's like that. That curves off like that, and this hill comes round. Yeah, okay, so we need to get another brush out now uh, and just use. I'm going to use this golden axe and just turn that into a. We can probably just do a BR with a sphere. If I can spell a sphere of 2 and 10. I'm going to mask that to 12, so that means everything that's made out of 12, well, let's do it a bit bigger. Everything that's made out of sand now gets painted into this actual grass. And this takes away all of that replacing need. You can see why I would never play survival again. Who needs to do when you can just do this? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, you can be using World Edit by Bedrock. There's only one server I know of that has World Edit installed on Bedrock, and you have to be on that server rather than playing the actual game standalone. Uh... Alright, let's take this up to that road there and bring that across. Fill that in. So we've got a nice plateau here to build on. That means we can bring... Um, so where was, where was I going to put the workhouse? It's going to sit at the end of this road, wasn't it? Across all of this. Okay, so... If we extend this contour out a bit more. Like that. carry on doing this sorry this is yeah this is where it all gets a bit i have to sort of concentrate a little bit more just to make sure we're doing what we want to be doing uh but yeah this is cool yeah cool excellent so, nice guys yeah so let me just fill this uh yeah i think that's that's gonna be fine like that um this bit will what do we want to do here so the road come the road isn't going to come through anymore at that point so i guess it will just have to Connect in like that. Or however we want it. Yeah. Um, I'm walking around choosing my house with 
cordless headsets just so I can listen. <laughs> then I stopped my computer for a real peak and now I can't leave. <laughs> uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. Welcome to the stream if you've just joined. Uh, currently just terraforming a part of my town to make it look a bit more epic so we can get a few more buildings in. So that's going to be a straight line through there. Okay, and that all ties back in there. So that's that road width there. Cool. And it's the same with... Yeah, I'm not, still not sure what I'm doing with that bit, but don't worry about that. So... Nice stuff. Right, let's paint this in, and then let's get this new bit of road in, and then I can probably... Cool. There, that is two blocks high, isn't it? That's two blocks different there. Interesting. Okay, we're going to have to peel that back a little bit. Okay, that's probably going to be okay. And then just come back around here and fill this in. But yeah, this is where the stream sort of take a, a relaxing turn all goes a bit Bob Ross on us here. Uh, although it's understandable why people play on, on not survival again, there's a new satisfaction to accomplishing tasks with survival mode. There is, as long as you've got the time. I, I, I honestly prefer, I value time over sort of that sense of achievements, unfortunately. Um, but I, I, I don't like the stigma against people playing in creative mode. This game is so different to play for different people. Um, you shouldn't be lambasted for playing a different type of the game when it's all the same thing, really. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Right, let's paint this all in. Tie this around a bit more. Uh, keep getting the wrong one out. There we go. Um, thank you. <laughs> uh, I typically enjoy the grind and the satisfaction of getting the resources and crafting them myself. But with this game, I find it so diverse. You can do whatever you want when you're in the mood for. Exactly, yeah. And I just love creative building because... I love the blockiness of it. I love the, you know, the challenge of turning real life buildings into Minecraft, but also the challenges of just building a town. That is quite diverse, like I've got here. Um, uh, it isn't unfortunate. It's just yeah, exactly. Minecraft is not popular. What? I I I I I would disagree wholeheartedly with that statement there, but okay. What what what's brought you to that conclusion there? Right, let's get some blue and make it a block of five wide. Yeah, there we go. Let's paint that in. So I'm now going to paint in the road just to um, just to see where we're going to build it. So it's going to carry on up this way and on to this slab here. Yeah, I think I think YouTube algorithm and 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 the level of people that play it disagree. Hmm. Oh no, I've taken away me. Let's undo the last five of that. Maybe another five. Um, I build to play a lot of Seven Days to Die. Oh yeah, I love that game. And totally stole the building style from MC, which looks... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seven Days to Die is an interesting game. Um, and it's fun with friends. Definitely. But the... um. 
it is fairly difficult as well it's, it's it is okay it's it's worth playing if you haven't ever played it before um it was a joke a bad one okay sorry <laughs> But I think you, you you sort of brought a joke like that into a, a into a place where Minecraft would be considered a religion. Um, so you almost got classed as a heretic there. That road connects in like that. Okay. So that means this little road can probably carry on down here. Yeah, we get some houses on it. Nice stuff. And then opposite that will probably be I don't know, an empty area, or maybe a house or two. Um, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's our fault for jumping on jumping on you there <laughs> with a, a sort of a dog pile, in the sense of no, it can't be wrong. Have I gone too far out? Let's have a quick look. Well, maybe a little bit. Huh, okay, let's get back to it. Oh yeah, I wanted to go. Oh, okay, yeah, I went a bit too far. Okay, right. So even with World of it, you still have to go and um, yeah, fix your things that you you've, you've broken as well. So now I can't undo any more, so I'm going to go back through and and paint the rest of it. So uh, let me just mask mask on this brush of blue, so I can now go back through and just paint everything I've put out of blue. Uh, all right, what should I build first? Bridges or houses? It's up to you, mate. Take that back. Right. Uh, do you have an Instagram account? I do. Yes, it is just WBC Builds. I post all my builds on there. Discord, if you... Well, I can type it for you, but this is... Um, this will give you the link to the Discord, and also this will give you the link to my YouTube channel, where you'll find my fully formed builds over there and time lapses and, and showcases and all sorts uh, i make a both basic road plan first yes i would definitely suggest doing that okay so if we have it coming up and then running alongside this there we go that's better uh quite convenient i meant to ask the same oh lovely stuff well go check that out if you're interested in seeing more of my content um Streaming is, is the sort of the, the thing that leads to all of my stuff. So if you have a look at that, you should be able to find something you might enjoy. So that drops down there. And for different Swedish styles, interesting stuff. Right. And then this carries on down there. So it's quite a straight road. It's going to be quite a big road. It's the main sort of exit bit for the outside. Right. And that connects in like that. So that would come up. This road here will carry on up to here. Do, 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 like that, and then like that. And that stops. And then the building's going to sit here, and the road carries on, but then it, it breaks at another T junction about here. And then it carries on back around this way and swoops along the edge of this curve. Um, so I've tried to keep a bit of landscaping in here to give a bit more of a natural barrier as to why roads are doing what they're doing. And this lane then splits on two, so the main part goes off down here to the to the right. Like so, like that there, and connects into that. Um, um, could I join? Uh, no, unfortunately it's a private server. Uh, you do have to apply to become builder over in our Discord or um, become an active member of our community over there which will lead you to be able to potentially join after a month or so of being active. That looks a bit better. Uh, as much as I like to, I have to read Discord rules. Pardon me while I get familiar with them. That is perfectly understandable i must admit i prefer it when people do actually read those rules there's a lot in there so this is the main road that then comes down this way so we got some fields off that way right cool and comes and bridges across bridges across about here 
and jumps. Well, we'll have to build up a bridge at that point. And carries on out this way. Into the open plains of open fields. Lovely stuff. We'll see how that goes. Um, now this road. What are we going to do with this road? I don't know. Um, my Discord needs to be updated. And I forgot my password. Oh no. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Let's undo two of those. Let's paint this back out. I'm not sure what I want to do with this road just yet. So I'll go and look at the map. We can see what we've done now. And that's completely made a massive mess. Um, where are we? There we are. So we've got a completely different format now. So that's come down and that's joined in with that road there. So we have some fields at the back. Which means this road can then maybe... Hmm, we've got a bridge going across that way now. Maybe we didn't want to do that. Maybe we didn't want to do that. A story of my life. Right, let's quickly get back and fix that before it updates too much. This is why it's always, always, always best to plan these things out first before executing them. Because you really, really don't know what you got until you try it and then suddenly go, ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's also not what I wanted to do. I keep, oh, pick up the wrong thing. Oh, no. Uh, redo, I don't know, 20. There we go. So maybe, okay, maybe we will carry this on this way then. So it'll jump across there. And then we'll have this sort of fork in the road, like that. That joins back in. Uh, and then this road here is what I'm questioning. Okay, I subscribed to your channel and have also put notifications on. Why, thank you. That's very kind. I never ask for that from anyone, so that's always nice when people, people do that. It just helps with the algorithm giving out people the right links. Now, this road, I might take it on a little journey. So, what I'm thinking of doing is... So, that road now comes across and goes over the bridge there. Connects back up into that. That's, that is what it is there. Okay. There's no real other way of doing that, I don't think. This road, I might bring it and then maybe take it around the edge of the road the river hmm no I do it does need to leave across the bridge as well so we have two bridges across here ha huh. that's kind of what I didn't want but oh well we'll see how it goes um so it's gonna drop down here it's quite a hill it drops down I guess actually it could Seems to be space for it to run along the edge of the river. And maybe a small little road that goes back up this way. Back up this hill. Oh, I like this now. This is looking interesting. It connects in at this junction with this road. So we have quite a wild junction here. And with that, we could put, um, I don't know. I think this needs to be like... I think in here I wanted a big house, which we can still do. Uh, around here, this is going to be like a wooded hill, and we have some fields that lead off of it this way. But it's quite nice, we've got a bit of definition here along here now. And that now connects in with this road, which can run along the river's edge. Until it reaches a point that it then crosses the bridge again. And you may be wondering, why don't you cross there? Well landowners so this can now be made into another big house here um and i think that would look quite cool actually i also probably should have done it in a different color so we could see it better against the it's all about building sort of windy roads and this sort of thing you don't want to build anything that's too uninteresting i don't know i'm probably never going to like this layout but we're We'll do what we can with it. Maybe I should fill that cover that. Oh. Cover that back up actually. Carry it on for a bit longer. That's the edge of the canal there. So and that goes off that way. Where does that go off? Mm. 
you can see me on the map now just looking at things this way um let's have a look so if this carries on this way we can have fields on both sides i'm thinking if we bring it across and maybe because this bridge then leads to oh yeah this could lead to a bridge here that'd be two bridges but it needs to go across the canal at some point because that's where the canal goes in um yeah back again i'm really amused uh by one of the rules about credit where credit is due i'm quite happy that it includes something that many of a look but it's very true plagiarism is really annoying indeed of course it is yes if you had to build everything by hand, could you do it? I mean, I could. Whether whether I would want to is another question. There's a lot going on here. Um, so it's kind of the idea of you don't really want to be doing it all by hand. We'll have that coming down there for now. Uh, this is going to be a big house in here. Uh, we need to. I'm not figuring out any of that landscaping there. That's all for um, MS Builds to have a go at. He's very good at that sort of thing. Two seconds.
No, I was I was dragged away to um <laughs> to go uh, move a tumble dryer actually. Um, what's going on here? Can you end your stream? I don't. Why do Why do you want me to end my stream? Just went for a little break. <laughs> um, allow what? Allow? Okay, what's okay? <laughs> then join back. Um. Well, I waited more than five minutes. Well. Unfortunately, breaks can take, um, you know, only a little time they do. Um, right, okay. Anyway, so we're just sorting out the little layout for this area. Just getting the little um, painting on the go to make sure it's all, all working all right. Oh, yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, we'll figure it out now. Um, from there, drag this around. So let's carry on down that way into New Street and then this one's going to be Waterford Lane here. Perfect. Uh, and then yeah that little layout works I think so that goes down that hill goes around the edge by the water railway. Yep yeah, perfect. How does that look on the map now? Uh, let's have a look. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit more of an interesting layout at the back here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I do like that bend there, but it is what it is. These will be a bit more rural roads, and that's going to be a straight road through the back of town. Which again, I'm not entirely sure I like, but hey ho, we got it now. I could actually end that there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We'll do that instead. Cool. Perfect stuff. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what. Right, well, you don't have to be here if you don't want to be. Okay, right, we're just going to move this bit of road back out. We don't need it anymore. So I'm going to connect it in there so it's, it's a sort of corner that comes in. Um, I think that's the right one. Yeah, there we go. So it goes in and it's a 90 degree bend here. Perfect stuff. Uh, and then we can have the water tower, like I said, over here at some point. Perfect. Now that road doesn't join back in. That looks a bit better. A bit more of an interesting layout again. Yep, cool. Okay, right. That's perfectly fine. That goes in like that. And then it goes back off, connects back out there. So we have a building, well, the workhouse in here. I'll have to dig all that out. Uh, and then this hill is going to have some trees on it, which we can actually do now. So I'm going to grab out my tree tool wherever it's got to. Um, and we can see how that goes. So I'm going to do my SR. Was it SP? Uh, there we go, git. There we are. So let's try and paste some of these schematics down here. Which is just going to be a random assortment of trees up on this hill. Which should give this place a bit more life. Right. Okay. No problem. I mean, if you if you don't need to be here, please do leave before we just make you leave. Ah, perfect stuff. This is this is exactly what I wanted up here on this hill. A couple of trees over this way as well. Nice stuff. I think we'll do the same here. Put a couple more trees. Um, and then maybe a few more over here and this is just yeah this will break it all up once we put some houses along these roads you'll start to see why these trees being here need to be perfectly fine cool 
couple more here. There's little bits of brick are just there because that's how this mod works, unfortunately. Uh, actually, it's my fault, uh, but don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the wooded hill. Uh, might need to put a few more in. But yeah, anyone that's just joining, welcome to the stream. We're just building up my town. Uh, are they custom trees? Yes, these are all custom trees. Uh, they were part of a pack I downloaded a long time ago. We're talking seven or eight years ago. Um, I, I, I've, I found the link for it on Planet Minecraft. Um, so I can always post that back at some point. But they just help bring a bit more depth to the world. Especially once, like I said, once you get some buildings along here. Uh, you can have these custom trees in and it just makes it pop so much better. Wait, uh, what is going on? I just joined. Uh, yeah, so what you've just seen me here doing is... You, um, you are placing loads of trees in using a stick, which is using uh, schematics of custom trees I have loaded in to this server. I really wonder how talent works. How can some be as good as certain tasks way beyond it? Um, given communities in Minecraft as well, some are good at redstone projects while others are building beautification aspects. Uh, yeah, I think it's a case of um, everyone is just different talented different ways. Uh, people's brains work in different ways, don't they? So it is a case of just, you do what you've got to do in life. Like for me, um, in real life, I'm, I'm a civil engineer. I help design all sorts of projects and that. So I like that. I think that looks wor works well. We can have a little tree down the, well, down the borderline, in the borderline. So I'll move that back a little bit. Um, and so for me, thinking the larger, bigger picture of how things work is kind of what I do. Um, Ah, hello there. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? And yeah, that's kind of kind of what we do. Uh, so this sort of stuff I'm doing here is is very much my bread and butter. I just enjoy doing it. So uh, what is that going to be? Stack? I don't know. Hundred? A bit too far. Uh, but no, that's very, very, very good observation there. It, this game just gives everyone something to have a go at, really, as well. There's always something for you to do. If you enjoy the grind, if you enjoyed the survival aspect of it and the material collection, then there's that bit for you. Um, for me, redstone, I, I've never really looked into it. Um, I think I get put off by some of the stuff people have created with it, which has been absolutely outstanding. We're going to do the wall like this, I think. Um, so for me, I never really got into it um, but it's not something I want to completely get out of my life I'm sure I can have a go with it at some point so yeah what was that it's, it's fence yeah like that so we can have quite a different sort of wall Go behind it like that get a bit of deck texture a bit of depth um, but for me I'm still learning how to do all these little details and these little bits and bobs um, ah hey welcome back to the stream How's it going? I think you were here last night, weren't you? Um, so I wouldn't I wouldn't say it should put anyone off doing what they want to do in this game. There is stuff for everyone. Yeah, a little path down there. Cool. Yes, oh, that's going to look good with some, some more bushes around, some little trees. This is really coming together now. Let me just get these little back pieces in so we can place these stairs in a bit better. I probably could stack this, maybe. Let's see. Um, I can't remember how to stack it on the side. I think I might just need to stack it. Right. Uh, left, sorry. Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't think that was going to work. I think you have to take two, don't you? And see if that works. Stack. Um, let's do ten left. Hang on. Not left. And I think you have to look that way and then try and type it. See, for me, I'm still. Mm, that's a no. I'm still learning how to do this. Um, this game. I think. I think. Yeah. I think I figured out what you need to do. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So we do that twenty down there. Uh, that's a bit more. Forty. Yeah, it's about right. Um, the face cam really enhances the stream quality. Thank you. Yes, so we've only got it yesterday. Um, and since then, it has really, really been a, a godsend. I love it. It's given me a bit more confidence to do this. And it's given you guys something a bit more to look at while I'm standing, uh, sitting here thinking and going. Um, I hope it's not too much of a distraction. Um, 
Oh, nice. Uh, of course, uh, with all the good, there are always people who have had the top of the tree and don't take the whole entirety down. In my opinion, I'm something that's... Um, What's that? Oh, of course, with all the good, there are people who just leave, oh, they leave the top of the tree. Sorry, yes. I know. It's like, what? Why have you just come to take this and just left it, the poor thing to die? Right. Let's get this corner on here. I don't know how we're going to do this. Like that. Brick walls do look quite nice sometimes. Right, so let's get this corner piece on. Uh, and then the wall down this side isn't going to be as fancy because it's just a, a partition wall between the properties. But it's going to be quite a high wall, so you can't really look in from that side uh, because this has now gone up on the bit. Um, no, that's fair enough. Um, I probably, I, I don't tend to read everything exactly as it's written i tend to just uh, look and go oh, okay that's what you're trying to say so it's apologies my end as well uh, yeah, mm, yeah because we can have at the back here a nice bush of something uh, i don't know actually yeah because this land's all gone up so you kind of need to have a little bit of height difference here to make it worth it. Uh, to be honest, this is already feeling so much better now we've got this little bit of enclosure in here. Uh, I'm going to set that to 45 and a bit of granite. Uh, and that will come up like that. And you can definitely tell it's like a churchyard. Now, with this wall, we can do the whole little pattern in here. So to do that, you just go like that, that, and that. This block will go up by one. And you've got that across the top there. So we're going to stack this down. Uh, I can't remember how many blocks it was. I think it did 75, and that got us down to a nice level. So gives you a nice different wall. Um, what you can do now is go back through and pepper it with a bit of granite stairway because I think that would look a little bit better. So I'm going to just go through and knock it all out. And the ones I've knocked out, I'll come back through and place some granite in there uh, by hand. Um, and then this bit here can carry on round. Although I think we'll just end it with a bit of brick there. But yes. Um... Yes, that's correct. Uh, if you take down the trunk of the tree only and leave the floating top, do you want... Yeah, I don't want to know. It's like, what, what are you doing? Why are you playing this game? But, yeah, this is all good. Right. Uh, so we need to come back round. I'm just going to do it up to about here. Oh, no, I've lost my granite stairs now. Um, yeah, so this is pretty cool. Doing it on a Saturday. Um, maybe try again next week. Um, I won't probably be streaming tonight, so that's kind of why I'm doing it now. Um, we'll probably go for another 15 or so minutes just to get this fence line done. Uh, and then I'll probably end up calling it there. But yeah, if, you haven't, if you're new to the stream haven't checked out my channel yet, there's always the chance of uh, getting the link in the chat if you just do exclamation mark YouTube. Uh, that gives you my link for my channel. Go check that out. I've just released part three of a tutorial on a Victorian house I've been building in, in my tutorial world. It's also in this world here as well, so it's one of those ones that I've practiced on first. But uh, thank you in the chat there. Excellent stuff. Right, so that's kind of the back going all right. Um, I do want a couple more trees in here, so I'm going to try... That's, that's the wrong stick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and put another tree in. So we've got another one on that side which is good, and we've got one inside the building, which is not so good. So what this does, this 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 plugin, it randomizes the placement of trees. Um, and you can end up with trees like that. 
I mean, that's not a bad place for a tree, actually. That does cut it up a little bit. Gives you a bit of discreetness between the two. Um, okay. Apart from it actually cutting into the side of that building there, I'm not I'm not too happy with that. So we're just going to go through. Uh, what time is it for you? It is currently 5 o'clock for me in the afternoon. What time is it for you? That one actually ended up inside. <laughs> So it is, it's, it's, a, it's a random game of playing where's the tree going to land. Um, so what I'm trying to do is keep them as close to that fence line as possible. That looks quite nice. We've got that big branch leaning over. That looks quite natural. I like that. So we've got quite a wooded area in this corner. Um, heavy of trees, but you do find graveyards with that. How long have you been streaming? You usually just start streaming about this time. I don't usually start streaming until near 8pm. So today you've got it quite lucky. You've got me early, early. I'm streaming this early because um, I can, <laughs> and like I said, I'm probably going to pop out this evening, so I won't be able to stream then. Uh, we'll leave it like that. Uh, it's 11 a.m. for you. Oh, cool. That's interesting. We'll put the brick wall across the front like that. Uh, we'll carry on this motif. It's dropped down again. Um, it doesn't need to. Yeah. I'll have it like that so it doesn't look too odd. And across the top, we'll do the same here. Actually, we might put some iron bars across the top here. See how that looks. As it's a bit more of an open space here. So I'm going to stack that 20 to the right and see how that goes. Sorry, to the left. That brings us up to about there. really had the desired effects of those so yeah that will probably come up to about here then yeah that looks good and then there'll be a gate in the middle uh, have you been streaming for about three hours yes been about streaming about three hours now uh, I will call it a day soon I didn't realise it had been that long. Uh, so I just want to figure out what I'm doing with this. So this one needs to be turned into the pavement, which I think I've got copied and pasted over here, which may be quicker to get across. Yes, it is. Because I'm working with slabs rather than... Um, non slabs for this because I think slabs look so much better when you've got pavements on the go. So I'm just gonna pick those out. Uh, same there. I might just pick this up a little bit, give it one bit more height. Um, again it's all if you're copying this or building it yourself, do what you want. I find in my tutorials as well I'm very let you guys choose what you want to choose. Uh, this bit's going to stay sort of semi-open. I'm going to... It's like the pave, Not the pavement, but the pathway down to the graveyard so you can get the, um, you know, the bodies in. So I'm going to set that as a dirt path. Uh, I'm going to set that as a sort of dirt road, which is what I've got here, actually, as my other command. I've got copy and pasted, so... Control A, Z... Uh, there we go. So that needs to kind of connect in this dirt road here so I'm gonna do it like that and then I'm obviously gonna set this down by one and probably just bring a corner like that in because this will need a gate on it as well I will probably put a gate maybe I don't know we'll keep it there But yeah, so just going to finish this up. I'll put the front gate in that in a second. That goes on there, that goes there. Do you know what? Getting that graveyard in, and well, getting the, the actual yard in, we need to put the graves in it and bringing this all together. This church is really starting to feel like something now. I might put a little tree in the front here, but I'll do that using 
uh, just normal world edit before trying to attempt to <laughs> to break everything again. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting a little pathway up so it's got a bit of a a bit of a gradient there because we haven't got any gradient at the second. Um, and I can carry on down to there. I'll just be a brick wall. Oh no! Let's undo three. I don't want to have them there. So what I've done is, oh god, that's another. I don't want that there either. How many trees did I place? <laughs> it's a very dangerous tool that, especially when I use the same thing to change blocks like I do. So what's happened here is this gate's been added on slightly later. Um, once I got complaints of people coming in and rustling bodies. Uh, let's put that down to the ground actually. So yeah, that's a bit, a bit of lore behind it here. There we go. Turn this into a bit more of a bell mouth because that look better. Perfect stuff. Right, let's finish this off a little bit so I can sign off on this. Uh, I could probably can do a bit, a little bit of grass in there. Uh, Spectrum Games TMC, welcome to the chat. How's it going? Um, we're just finishing up a church here in my town of Wolhampton. Uh, do I want a bit of foliage at the front? No, I think this can just be set to uh, one and then one five. Get a bit of andesite, a bit of stone brick in there. Perfect stuff. And we'll do the same here up to there. Nice. Finish that off with a bit of pavement. That's looking good. Looking a bit more integrated now into the landscape. And then we just need to finish this section off here, which is just going to be a case of setting that as the slabs. There we go. And we've finished that off. So it's a bit of a wider pavement through there. I think that looks all right. Uh, and then in the middle here, we're going to put a gate. I don't know if that's actually the middle. Probably should find out. Uh, close enough. So the gate can be, you know, we'll have it as two pillared actually, that'll look quite nice. Um, so down the center. Like that. Don't know, just a bit of an interesting gate design. I like building gates. Um, they always, you know, iron iron fences are obviously the only way to do it, or iron bars. But iron bars are always a bit funny. I'm never sure if I like them or not. Cool, and there's that. Uh, I think maybe in the centre we have it up. On block like that. Oh yeah, that looks alright. Uh, and then I think on the corners of that we'll stick in some granite. But yeah, so if you are new here, uh, I do stream mainly on Tuesday nights and usually as well on Friday nights. So be sure to check me out again then. Uh, we're currently going to carry on building our town, my town of Wolhampton throughout all of that. Um, as that's all we've got on at the second. But yeah, for next stream, I think we'll end up building the rest of this graveyard just to see how that's been going. But honestly, I'm really, really happy of how this is going on. Water in this game apparently hates me. Okay, well, that's an interesting take on it. I think that's just your, I don't know, I don't know what you've done there, but yeah. So let's take a quick look at this in shaders before we head off for today. And i got to say, I'm really happy with how this is looking. So that's all good. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you all for watching this afternoon stream. It's been an interesting one. It's been quite nice streaming this afternoon, to be honest. We've um, we've done loads. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not even joking. That's that's taken that from just a facade to an actual build within a couple of hours. So that's good. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will um, I will see you next time. Goodbye.